Yo, so I tried completing this Forzathon challenge in Forza Motorsport 7, it had to be a week or a week and a half ago, and it would just not progress, it wouldn't give me anything towards completing the challenges, so I pretty much just gave up, and the Forza team was aware of it, so eventually they did fix it, and the event got extended though, as you can see it's running until February 23rd now. The bottom two challenges, I have never seen them in-game. I'm not sure when they're actually going to show up in-game, but there are achievements for them, and they're supposed to be over on the same day, so we're going to see what happens, but this is the only one that I have seen. The first part of it is to complete five laps on Bathurst or whatever in an Australian car, so you can see the Australian flag at the bottom right of the screen there. Holden is a perfect example of an Australian car. This thing does not have a lot of grip, not easy to drive, but we're going to free play. Pretty much like we always do when we complete Forzathon challenges in Forza Motorsport 7. So you're going to go all the way to the left, and it might be hard to tell, but this is Bathurst or Bathurst, whatever, the circuit race. And it's a pretty decently long race. So it takes about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the car you're going to use, I would say. You have to do five laps, one drive guitar, and whatever else you want to do for the rest of it, it really does not matter. But once you go and complete those five laps on Bathurst in an Australian car, that will unlock the second challenge, and this one's very simple, doesn't take long, just reach 180 miles per hour at Dubai, so you can use any car you want, personally I chose the Hoonicorn, but you're going to want to go to Dubai, and I chose the very last circuit race listed in this game, because there's two straightaways on it, and honestly in the Hoonicorn, I'm not sure about other cars, the Hoonicorn is super fast, but if you do a rolling start, just one lap, one drive, or zero drive atars, you don't need any drive atars just to hit a top speed. So, rolling start is really good because then you get more speed to start with, obviously. And that can allow you just on the first pull in that straight line, which you're going to see right here, to hit 180 miles per hour now. If you don't have the Hoonicorn, if your car's not quite as quick, there is a second straightaway towards the end of the race where you'll easily hit 180 miles per hour. So this challenge was a piece of cake and going back to complete these first two challenges, they both worked first try. So the final challenge is just to simply finish top three at Rio de Janeiro. So once again, free play race setup, we're gonna go to Rio de Janeiro and just pick the shortest track. There's one that's 0.68 miles, very quick, very easy. If you really wanted to, you could probably do a timed 30 second race, but this race basically takes 30 seconds, so you might as well just do that, finish the complete race. And that is pretty much it. You can use any car you want. I just stuck with the Hoonicorn because it's quick, made the race go by very fast, and after you do that, I got the achievement to pop, but in-game, it didn't give it to me, so I had to restart my game, and then I got the in-game reward and all that. So you can see I have my little, little notification there on the Forzathon menu, but it's very frustrating that this is still an issue in Forza 7. I mean, when you hit next race, when you're just in free play, that seems to help it along if you quit out of the race and then try and go back to the Forzathon Forza menu. It doesn't seem to give progress, so I don't know, but I really hope that this helped everyone out, and hopefully everyone else now is aware that this is working, and you can go and complete the challenges without getting frustrated and annoyed. I tried once, and I just gave up. I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna have patience, let them figure it out, and that now they extended the event, they got the challenges to work, so it's definitely a good thing to have patience sometimes. So once again, hope this helps everyone out. If you have any questions at all, please just let me know. But thanks for watching. Peace.